So cutting straight to the chase, no hold up. This glitch, which is for flak only, allows you to literally destroy it all in a matter of seconds, and all it takes is money. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and today I've been doing another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be with a chance of winning this yourself, simply make sure you are subbed and have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so there's been a glitch floating around the cyber webs for some time now, and that is extra projectiles being fired from literally any weapon. I was initially told about this and how to do it by a friend, but after looking online and seeing a few videos on it, because I did have a feeling it had been covered already, I found the first person to post this was Osterberg, who in my opinion deserves full credit. So credit to him, and he and his channel can be found linked within the video description. So what this glitch does is basically allow you to stack projectiles from any weapon in the game. Well, the ones I've tested which range from pistols, SMGs and assault rifles. Now this doesn't require any specific class mod, shield anointment or artifact. All this requires is money, because you have to respec a bunch of times. So on flak, and flak only at the moment, this is how you get this done. Head to Sanctuary and grab any weapon of your choice. I will demonstrate this with Lucian's cool as I love this thing and it also, as we know, returns ammo back to the magazine which is a benefit for sure. So respec using the quick change vending machine. Then go into your skill trees and spec down into Toothang and make sure you apply 5 into this. What Toothang does on a 5 spec is give you a 25% chance to fire an extra projectile. So spec down into this. Then you want to empty your weapons clip and let it reload. Just to make sure the perk has indeed activated itself. Then you want to respec again. After you've respect, again spec into that two fangs perk. And then it's all about a rinse and repeat process. Just basically keep doing this with your weapon of choice and each time you respect, you seemingly gain an additional projectile. And this stacks literally for as long as you want to sit here doing this. So the process, respec, spec 5 into 2 fangs, empty your weapons clip, let it reload, respec, spec 5 into 2 fangs, empty your weapons clip, let it reload, rinse and repeat. And like I said, you can do this for an unlimited amount of times. A few rules though. You can't quit to the main menu as you lose the stack, but you can fast travel around and even die. It works as far as my testings went on one weapon at a time. And once you've achieved the number of extra projectiles you think is necessary, you can go ahead and rebuild your setup. Doing this for a little over 5 minutes, you can see the effects it had on Illusion's cool. The thing just absolutely melts. This is Mayhem 4 by the way. Again, after 5 minutes of doing this, imagine what it would be like if you sat there for 20 minutes. Absolutely ridiculous. So yeah guys, this is literally a way to kill everything the game offers in mere seconds. Now this current method, this quicker process is only available to do on flak at the moment, but there is another way to do this on all other Vault Hunters, which I covered a few days back. I will play a clip from that video on how this is done, but it does require a few different things, which you still have until the 5th of December to actually get, so check out that clip on screen now. Now what this glitch allowed you to do was literally make any weapon with a certain common terror anointment an absolute machine, capable of killing all things this game offers in mere seconds. The glitch literally consists of two things to make it super efficient. A shield or grenade mod with the terror anointment of on action skill end, apply terror to yourself every 5 seconds for the next 18 seconds. So having a grenade with this on or a shield is absolutely perfect. I will state the shield or grenade can be of any rarity, it does not matter as when you achieve this glitch you can switch to your favourite shield and grenade mod afterwards anyway. So rarity does not matter as long as they have this anointment on them. Then all you need is a weapon that you are happy using and it has to have this anointment on it. While terrified you have a chance to fire an extra projectile per shot, the more terror you have the higher the bonus. It helps having a weapon that won't run out of ammo quick either. My Lucian's call is perfect as crit hits return bullets back to the mag. But again here, any weapon with this anointment works and of any rarity as long as you are happy with the weapon you are using. So with this weapon, your weapon of choice equipped with this anointment, equip any other weapon, it doesn't matter what it is. So for now, only be using two weapons just to make this easier. 
Then what you want to do is make sure that shield or grenade mod is equipped with the anointment of applying terror to yourself and action skill cooldown. Then within Sanctuary or anywhere else, activate your action skill. Now on Zane, you can simply press the action skill button, then press your inventory button. This applies terror to yourself, but doesn't take away your action skill ability. So you can keep spamming this and keep gaining that terror effect. And that's what I'm doing in this video if you are wondering when you see me quickly pull up my menu. This could work on other Vault Hunters too, but because I only play Zane, I can't guarantee that. But I'm pretty sure I have seen people do this on other Vault Hunters. Either way, using your action skill or not, it doesn't change its effect. Just being able to cancel it and actually get the terror effect just makes it a little quicker. So on action skill, you will notice you have gained that terror effect. Then what you want to do is fire that weapon with that extra shot anointed until the clip is empty. Then mid reload, switch to the other weapon of choice, which will switch to wait about a second, then switch back. In my case, back to the Lucian's cool, and then let it reload. Then empty its clip again. Then again during reload, switch to that second weapon, wait a second, then switch back. This has to be done while you are under that terror effect. What this does is stack extra projectiles, meaning the more you do this, the more projectiles you actually fire. And the crazy thing about this is people, even when the terror effect is vanished, you keep the extra projectiles per shot. Me doing this for a little over two minutes, I gained so many extra projectiles on my Lucian's cool, it was absolutely crazy. And you can see the effects this has on that test dummy. Now my Lucian's cool and my duck both have this anointment, so I was literally taking turns applying this effect to both these weapons. And while the outcome, even of the duck after just doing this for a short time, is pretty damn crazy damage wise. And you can do this for an unlimited amount of time guys, it doesn't matter and the end result is a weapon which can literally kill everything the game throws at you in mere seconds. So yeah guys, this crazy glitch allows you to melt everything this game offers on all mayhem modes, enjoy this while you can. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.